Hey. Hey. Good morning, little kitty. What are you doing today? afternoon everybody this is organic dairyman and welcome back to my channel today today is thursday october 15th man the middle of the month already it's hard to believe middle of october anyways how are you guys doing today i hope you're doing great i hope your days it's been going good or you had a great day i'm doing pretty good i'm a little tired Harvest is wearing me out a little bit, but uh, we're getting there. But anyways, what is on the agenda for today and, maybe, and the next day? Uh, I'll just focus on today. I don't overwhelm you guys with all the work. Uh, the big thing we're going to be focusing on here today is to get all done with the high moisture corn. Um, we got we're basically all done combining it. Uh, we just got three gravity boxes to unload, but if you watched the last video, uh, one of the gravity boxes blew a tire on the way home. Um, right now the gravity box is sitting at another farmer's place. Um, it's like six, seven miles from home. So the tire, both the tire and the rim are shot, so we gotta, uh, gotta get a new one put on there. We already called the tire shop. They are gonna make one up, so we just gotta go to the tire shop, pick up the new tire, and we're gonna get it out of there. So, anyways, yeah, my brother Steve, the one, the younger brother that I farm with, he is going to be going to town. And he's going to get that stuff, that tire, and get that put on. I'm going to work here at the feeding chores that I'm working at right now. We just got to go feed the milk cows, something here. I just got to add a little bit more feed on there. there. Feed to the feed, feed wagons. They have for enough feed. Because we're pretty much done grazing for this time of the year. It's been rather dry around here. The grass just never really grew too much this fall. Anyways, uh, yeah, so we're gonna fit work on that today and then we need to work at getting ready for the regular corn. Um, we gotta get the, that bin ready to go. We just gotta get the auger set up and the bin sweep out of there, get it sealed up. So, so stuff like that we gotta work at. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna try to take it one step at a time and get there. We'll eventually get there. So hopefully we'll get some more corn combine today, some regular corn. We'll see what happens. Okay, my brother Steve, he just got back a little bit ago. Um, I don't know, he went off to go do something else here. I wasn't up here in the yard when he got back. I was loading up the feeder wagon. And uh, yeah, he got this new rim, new tire put on here. And um, so that job was done. We gotta get this unloaded here yet. But uh, we do have a new problem here. We've got uh, some metal fatigue here. Yeah, so um, that's gonna have to be addressed. We're gonna have to take and get that welded up. And uh, I'll show you what the old tire looks like. Um, so we're gonna have to take this wagon off of gravity box, hauling duty, I should say. Yeah, here's what's left of the old tire. Mm, yeah, not too pretty looking. Yeah, so we're gonna have to get this fixed. These are one of these Minnesota gravity boxes, if anybody knows, is familiar with them. They were, uh, they were built by prisoners. Um, 
Yeah. Here he is, the proof right here that they were built in Minnesota. Quarantine, guaranteed quality. Still water, Minnesota. Minnesota State Prison Industries. So, yeah. So anyways, I gotta do a little bit more with the feeder wagon here. Put the corn silo down, then I'll be done. And we gotta get three of these gravity boxes unloaded here. And then probably head over and start combining. But fortunately, I'm gonna miss not having that gravity box. So. Oh well, it is what it is. Okay, got over to the field finally. But seems like forever to get over here. Oh, yeah. If you notice that this end here, I don't know why you can see this, but if this, you notice that this end here is combined. Um, this was pasture last year. Or pasture that we broke up this year was plowed and this corn all came up later. So this was all the high moisture corn that we combined. That's kind of a little bit L-shaped here, but, and that's the corn that's drier that over there is what we're gonna combine here in just a little bit. But uh, yeah, so I just backed, the, I drove the combine up to that point, backed up, just kept going back and forth. I got down the other end, down there. So, but I better get this combine warming up here. Whew, man, I was having, Quite the time staying awake driving over here. I should have had some coffee or something, but I forgot to have some coffee before I left. So I might be smacking myself to stay awake. <laughs> okay, um, I need to drive down to the other end of the field because we got to finish getting the headlands off on the uh, on the. Uh, east end of the field. I don't know if you can see that, but over there, that blinking light, that's Melbank, South Dakota. We're actually west of Melbank, actually southwest of Melbank a little ways, where we're at right now. And uh, yeah, but yeah, I gotta get those headlands off. And I'm just kind of letting the combine warm up a little bit here. That's kind of why I'm just driving to the end first. Oh, yeah, I just wish we would have had a few more inches of rain over here. It would have added a lot more bushels to the cornfield. Maybe next year. Last year, 2019, we had soybeans in here. It was too wet and the soybeans didn't yield very good. We maybe they yielded 15, averaged maybe 15 bushels to the acre in the whole field. It was terrible for yield, but it was too wet. This year it's a little bit too dry over here. There's very few years so I can get it just right. But, uh, yep, so, uh, oh, hope I can stay awake. <laughs> A nice Mountain Dew would be nice right now. Okay, everybody, I'm done over here at the field for tonight. I just, uh, I don't know if you can see the combine over there, you probably can't, but I got both the gravity bushnells full of these two wagons here, so hopefully we'll make it home okay with, um, I don't get any flat tires like it last night, so, uh, ooh, that light didn't want to stay on there, but. Yeah, so let's see if we make it home and without a flat tire. Hey, where are your turkeys going? 
You're not gonna stick around for Thanksgiving? Oh, what happened here? Somebody, somebody had a cow. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's another day. And uh, that heifer there, she's a new mom, just had her little white calf looking. I don't know what it is yet, if it's a bull or a heifer. I kind of think it's a bull. Sure is a little frisky little guy or gal. <laughs> anyways, guys, um, well, I got to get that calf in here in a little bit. But anyways, what we're going to be doing here today, that's on the agenda here for today, is uh, one thing, we got to finish this up here. We gotta get this grain cleaner up. This is for the corn. We're gonna clean the corn. We put it in the grain bin because uh, we haven't got any corn put in the grain bin. We haven't had time. We gotta get the um, we gotta get the auger and everything set up here today. But and uh, then our brother, he's got to bring that roller mill roller mill back to the guy that he rented it from. I said I don't know where they're gonna. He's got to bring it to Wilmer, Minnesota. So. Anyways, that's one of the things, some of the things we got going here today. So, I don't know how much we're going to get combined today because getting an auger set up and everything all set up and ready to go for loading a bin and all that stuff. So, we'll see what go, see what ends up happening here today and all what goes down. But I better get that calf in the calf pen. Then we got to get the, the new mom in the barn and get her milk and get the calf fed the cloths for milk. Okay, girl. Step out. There, thank you for your cooperation. Okay, I gotta get this uh, roller mill unhooked here. Um, the bag is almost full, but we can maybe put, I don't know, maybe, maybe another gravity box or two in here. But we're not gonna do it because, uh, well, first of all, we're, we're not gonna do it because we got a, a grain contract we gotta honor. We gotta make sure we have enough corn to honor that grain contract. And yeah, so that's kind of why we're not putting more corn in here. And this corn is drier. We actually did put some more corn in here. Um, some of that drier stuff. Um, so is we figure, you know, we're gonna feed it to the cows anyway. At least it's ground up. Um, you know, what we feed the cows is based on how dry or wet the corn is. So we won't have to feed as much as we did last year because that corn was extremely wet. So, anyways, um, I gotta get this unhooked. I gotta make sure I gotta close. I gotta close this down. Because, uh, if any corn goes in those rollers, um, it, this thing will have a very hard. It will shear those pins um, that we sheared that one night. So, anyways, that's the first thing I gotta do is close those roller down, rollers down, and then I'm gonna drive ahead and. Um, Get everything unhooked. So I gotta remember how to 
how to do all this. I gotta do it in the right order, otherwise we're gonna have some problems. So anyways, I'll set you guys up over here and you can watch me, me do this. Uh, my brother Steve, he's just finishing up a few things with the cows and then we'll, he's gonna run this thing down to Wilmer, Minnesota. Do you guys ever have that where you uh, you uh, open up Instagram and then you start uh, watching people's stories and going through it and then you just start you can't get off of it you get hooked. Yeah, that's what I was just doing here a little bit ago. I was sitting there watching everybody's story, watching the Iowa Dairy Boys got their story, watching the Welkers, Lansing Egg, and all these other ones. Um, Kai Farmerman. Yeah, you start going through and watching everybody's, and then you realize, holy buckets! This many minutes went by? What am I doing? Put the phone away and get to work, so that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm taking just a quick break from the feeding here, and I was gonna fix this tire with, um, well, I'll go show you here. Okay, I'm back. I was going to fix the tire with this stuff here, tire eject. Um, but, um, unfortunately, it is not a tubeless tire. The tire itself is a radial tire, which means it's tubeless. It can be tubeless, that's the option. But, looking here at the valve stem in here, you can definitely tell... It is not, it has a tube in it. So it's not directly a tubeless tire per se, like um, like this one here. You can always tell a tubeless tire. They have a valve stem thing like this. This one does not have a tube in it. That one has a tube in it. So, that tire just started developing a leak last night apparently. You must have run over something. Either we ran over something or sometimes if you get rust in the rim and it'll pinch the tube just a little bit and create a little hole in the tube. So apparently the tube has a little hole in it. So the question is, do we air the tire back up and hope that it has enough air in it for the time that I'm combining and we bring it home or what? I don't know what to do. So we might have to just unhook this wagon. <laughs> do that or I could bring an air tank along and just before we're ready to leave with it, stick some air in it and hope it's fine. I don't know. There's a possibility it could blow so we might just have to uh, take the tire off, take it to town and get it fixed but I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to have to scrap that idea for now I guess and let's go back to the feeding and um yeah okay i just got put the the uh mill roll or the, the high moisture corn on the feeder wagon there and um we have a slight change of plans here i think we're just going to skip combining any corn for today because um well for one thing we should really just get the tire fixed and you know make our trip worth it going over there two gravity boxes instead of just one and we need to get we should just get the auger set up oh and two i forget to tell you my brother pat he's not coming home uh, he didn't actually come here yet today and he's not going to come today he's going to come tomorrow he had a slight change of plans so he's not coming today and 
something else I wanted to mention here too is you know, my brother, he's almost home. I just talked to him a little bit ago. He was somewhere over by Kirkhoven, Minnesota. And uh, um, the renter, or the guy that we rent the roller mill from, he was nice enough to knock off some money for um, renting the roller mill just for my, just for my brother, you know, transporting it and going to that other guy's place to get it and then taking it down the Wilmer. So he's gonna knock off some money. So that's kind of nice that he's gonna do that. So anyways, my next thing here is I'm gonna get this unhooked from this tractor so we could put the grain auger on here. And uh, I gotta change the PTO shafts in here too. So anyways, I'm just gonna unhook this in a temporary spot for now. And we're just gonna get everything ready to go to put corn in the grain bin. Okay, I just pulled the auger in here in the hazard just so I can have some light. But uh, it should be, I should grease this thing up here before we uh, obviously get it back up to the bin. I don't know if we're going to get it up in the bin tonight. Probably not, but at least I just wanted a place where there was light so I could grease it. Just to grease the power shaft up and grease that. And there's a grease stick in there. And then, of course, there's one on the end that I can't get to until we get it up in the bin. So, Anyways, I think I'm going to go grab a bite to eat quick because I'm hungry. And uh, come back out and grease it later. But, uh, yeah. Okay, we're done for the day. Cows are milked, and we're just doing this after milking here right now. 
And also we got a little rain shower coming overhead, so that's why we uh, putting stuff away. They, they still got corn on it. And I didn't get anything more done. Anything more greased on the uh, on the grain auger. I didn't get any of that done. So it's just sitting over there in the hay shed yet. And we got my brother. He picked up some more egg bags for next spring. As long as he was... Uh, he went down to Wilmer, down there to the laying egg systems, picked up some of those up north plastic bags, so we don't have to have, have them shipped here. As long as we went down there, or as long as my brother went there, we killed two birds with one stone, so we didn't get as much done as we want to because obviously, like I said, my brother had to take that roller mill back down there, and that ate up, well, it's a two hour, two hour drive there from here, so it ate up at least a good four hours of time but it had to be done it had to be done so i guess tomorrow or it is tomorrow i should say so sometime today pat will be coming so that'll make things go a little faster so anyways i'm tired i need to get to bed and uh we're gonna hopefully get some more combine done tomorrow i didn't know i didn't know it was supposed to rain i hope it doesn't change over to snow i don't want to see that white stuff for a while yet but oh yeah so we'll get the we'll keep plugging away at that corn we'll get her done and we're gonna get that one tire fixed and yeah there's a lot of stuff to do tomorrow so you guys just have to stay tuned there's a lot more stuff to do so anyways guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to check me out on instagram and twitter at organic dairyman at organic dairyman and I do try to post a fair amount of stuff on Instagram, so make sure if you want to see like the latest and greatest stuff going on around here, make sure to follow me on Instagram because that's where you're going to find it. So, so and uh, yeah, I don't remember now if I even said to just to, don't forget to like and subscribe. I can't even remember. I'm so tired. But if I said it already, you're hearing it twice. And I'm driving it into your brain to do it. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, have a good night. Take care, and I will see you in the next video.